Being seen off Eastbourne Borough at the Kassam Stadium in a first round replay, the Oxford fans were in confident mood ahead of the clash with Cheltenham. The Robins enjoyed a good travelling support on what was a bitterly cold night for both sets of fans to endure. Most were keen to sample a pre-match drink either to warm up, while some preferred something stronger. This was the third meeting between the sides in ten days. Oxford boss Brian Talbot saw his side win the league encounter at Wadden Road after the first FA Cup match ended level. Both teams will know most of the players that were playing tonight. I mean, maybe a one change for here or there, but everyone will know each other. Uh, two teams trying to play football, cancelling each other out at times, really. The reward for the winners in the third round, another League Two clash against Chester. For my players, it's the chance to play at a high level and see if they can get a big game, but certainly for the chairman and the club in general, it is important that you, you try and improve the finances. I mean, we operate on, I think on Saturday, we were the fourth lowest gate in the country, so, you know, we, we need to get through, if you like, and it needs to help the football club in that way. Oxford may have taken the psychological advantage into the match following the two previous meetings, and it was the home team that threatened early on, Eric Saban firing straight at keeper Shane Higgs. Saban scored Oxford's equaliser at Cheltenham to earn the replay and the winner in the league match. His physical presence was causing problems. Shane Duff's challenge survived a half-hearted penalty appeal. At the other end, Northern Ireland international and former West Ham trainee Grant McCann went closest to an opening goal, only to be denied by the woodwork. The breakthrough came at the start of the second half and owed much to the persistence of Coyote Odegei. Odegei collecting Craig Armstrong's long throw to find the net, despite the attentions of Leo Roger. Oxford level just past the hour through top scorer Steve Basham, hat-trick hero from the last round. Basham showing a good touch to control and finish Lee Mansell's ball into the penalty area. He scored the winner for the U's in the side's recent league meeting. And Oxford, visibly lifted by that goal, nearly went ahead. Higgs just managing to beat out Craig Davis's fierce drive. There was a touch of controversy about the winner when referee Andy Penner judged that Oxford skipper Chris Wilmot had tugged back on a J. Wilmot picked up a yellow card, and from the free kick, Brian Wilson came up with a perfect strike to beat the wall and keeper Billy Turley and send the Robins into the third round for only the sixth time in their history. Wilson's first FA Cup goal, sealing a memorable win. I'm thrilled with them because it's a big occasion for a small club like ours to, to come here in the first place and win, but to play well and win, as, well, as I think we did, uh, and to come back from a little spell at Oxford piled on when they equalised, and to play with the confidence that we have done for uh, say a small club like Cheltenham Town, it's a big, big result. We were hanging in there, it was 1-1, and we were on top, and we, we, we might do something to win the game. Unfortunately, all right, it's maybe sour grapes, but I didn't think it was a foul, the referee give it, and the boy took the free kick and it was a magnificent shot, mine from the free kick, but I don't think it was a, a free kick in the first place. So you're disappointed when you lose, uh, especially an FA Cup game, on a controversial decision. Cheltenham's first win in this amazing sequence of games, but that's not the end of the fixture. They meet again in the LDV Vans Trophy at Wadden Road next Tuesday, with Ward hoping for a similar outcome.